Did you ever want to own something really precious? Something beautiful? Well, you do. We all do. See those 13 gems? Whether a whale breeding ground, a Civil War shipwreck, coral reef, or a kelp forest, each spot has such unique value that it has been set aside by Congress. Let's visit our national marine sanctuaries. The reef we swam over was like an underwater city. My favorite class trip was a whale watch. I've never even heard about the National Marine Sanctuaries. They're some of the richest marine habitats we've got. I love sailing out here. I'd be out here every day if I could. All these places are National Marine Sanctuaries? Thirteen of them. Each one different. Each one special. Ranging from a quarter mile to 5,300 square miles, the 13 sanctuaries can serve over 18,000 square miles of ocean and coasts. My dad fished here, and now I fish here. Someday I hope my kids will fish here. They're an investment in our future. Scientists use the sanctuaries for marine research and study. It's easy to take these places for granted, but you can't go to the store and buy a coral reef or a kelp forest. In 1972, exactly 100 years after the first national park was created, our country made a similar commitment to preserving its marine treasures. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, oversees the sanctuaries, but they can't do the job alone. You can find out ways to help at our website. The sanctuaries belong to all of us. Enjoy them, conserve them. Their future is in your hands. <laughs>